using Trezor Wallet and Electrum with SegWit. Here I am at Electrum.org. I'll click on Download. And you can see they have released Electrum 3.0.1. I'll click on Release Notes. Here you can see in version 3 they have added SegWit support. I've already downloaded the Windows installer. So I'll minimize my browser and double click on the installer. I'll click install. Now it's installed. I'll close the installer and double click on the executable shortcut. Here is the installer. It asks how do you want to connect to a server. I'll choose auto connect and click next. I'll give my wallet a name. I'm going to name it Trezor Segwit and click Next. Now I'll choose Standard Wallet and click Next. Now I'll choose Use a Hardware Device and click Next. Now it finds my Trezor. I'll click Next and enter in my PIN number 8642. Click OK. Now I need to change the path here. I need to change 44 to 49. So it should read M backslash 49 apostrophe backslash 0 apostrophe backslash 0 apostrophe. Make sure the 49 is in there as that's for SegWit. Now I'll click Next. And Electrum is generating my addresses. Here it is. If I click on Receive, you can see that it does give me a SegWit address, an address starting with a 3. All SegWit Bitcoin addresses start with a 3. I can show addresses and check the rest of my addresses, and you can see that they all do start with a 3. If you want to open the legacy wallet, you can go to New, Restore, type in a name, Trezor Legacy, click Next. I'll choose Standard Wallet, and first I'm going to close my wallet that's open, otherwise it will tell me it cannot connect to my Trezor. I'll click Next. Now I'll choose Use a Hardware Device, and click Next. An unnamed Trezor, click Next, and enter in my PIN number. 8642. Click OK. And I'll leave the path at 44 and click Next. This will load my legacy wallet. Here we are. If I go to Receive, you'll see that my wallet starts with a 1. That is a legacy address. I can take a look at the rest of my addresses and you can see that they all do start with a 1. This is my default legacy Bitcoin account. Now if I want to switch back to the other wallet, I'll go to Open, choose Trezor SegWit. It tells me it cannot connect to my Trezor, so I'll close the other wallet, and then click Yes, try again. I'll enter in my PIN number once again, 8642. Click OK. And now I have access again to my SegWit account. You can see all the addresses that start with 3. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.